Hey friends, welcome back to Kimmy's Kitchen and more. I hope you guys are having a great Thursday. Today is hashtag new to me and this is an open collaboration here on YouTube and that means anyone's welcome to join. Um, I'm the host and you just simply upload a video, put in the hashtag with all lowercase letters new, the number two, and then me, and tag my channel, and I'll come over and see what's new to you. And of course, it doesn't have to be anything new, so don't worry that it has to be brand new. It could be something that someone gifted you, or um, you found at a secondhand store, or that someone found for you and, and uh, gave you. Um, I'm just excited to see what everybody has going on and what's new to them. And it's always fun to find new beauty products. <laughs> hint, hint for anyone out there wanting to upload any of those kind of videos. <laughs> um, those are always fun. So today I am hauling for all you book lovers and all you um, recipe book lovers and just uh, book lovers in general. It is that time of year at our local library where they do a book sale and they had a book sale and I was fortunate enough to be able to go in, browse around and see what I could find. I'm really sad that I didn't get the leather armchair and I'm curious as to what that gentleman paid, but I seen a man walking out with a wing back leather um, chair. And I was like, wow, really? I mean, they will put anything out. They'll put stands out there, shelvings, um, shelves, um, tables, um, whatever basically they have to get rid of and they sell it for super duper cheap. And I really wish I knew what he paid for that leather chair because I'm sure it's worth way more than what he probably paid for it. Just like these books. So I picked up one, two, three, four, five, six books for $3. Great, great price. Actually seven. I forgot, I got my son, my husband and a son, my husband and my son a book, a book together on um, all different types of firearms. Um, small ones, large ones, all that. Um, it's just, I think it was like edition 2013 or something that like that. So it was older, but it still had a ton. It was like, oh my, I wanna say it had 300 or no, I want to say it either had 500 or 700 pages in it. It had a lot of pages. It was a big, thick, thick book for a quarter. Unbelievable. Um, so let me show you my first one that I got. I got this grilling book. And I'm super excited to just go through it. It's got garlic bread skewers, which I'd never even thought of making, but I, I love garlic bread. I love garlic bread on the grill. And I thought, oh my gosh, yes, please. Uh, creamy coleslaw, uh, Moroccan rub, Creole rub, uh, fragrant Asian rub. I mean, there's just a little bit of everything. Mango cheeks with spice palm sugar ice cream. Are you kidding me? And pictures too, let me show you guys. Um, so, Oh, uh, smoky spare ribs. Oh my goodness. Uh, crusted tuna, scallops. Y'all like scallops? Uh, comment down below and let me know if y'all like scallops. Um, orzo salad. There's just tons and tons of different recipes in this grilling recipe book. I love it. It says, simply the best book on cooking and eating outdoors, packed with information and full of delicious, easy, modern recipes for casual summer gatherings. Um, oh, look at this grilled fruit packages. I would just sit and show you guys this book all day because I have, um, there's tons of pages and pictures in there, but I got to get through to these other ones too. So let me do that. This one, I saved a page on, this is called the perfect basket. Make your own special occasion baskets. And I thought this was, um, super duper neat because it, it actually, it has all kinds of recipes in it. Um, whether it be cookies, mixes, candies, but then at the back, it also has, it tells you how you can put together different baskets for different occasions. Like there's one here that says a gardener's helper, and it tells you what to put in there if you're making a basket for someone who loves gardening. Um, 
There's one called uh, Kitchen Table Office, um, Guest Bath, um, kind of things that you could put together for your guest bathroom. Um, welcome Neighbors. Um, so for new neighbors that are coming, you can make a little basket for them. Um, kitchen Beginner for like the newly married couples or someone that's newly purchased a home. A new pet, a new car. There's all these different ones that um, it tells you how, and then ones that are going off to college, ones that have a newborn coming, new uh, new parents, uh, let's see, uh, sun and sand, if you know someone that's about to go on vacation and maybe they have a birthday coming up or something and you wanna just give them a little gift basket and um, give them little goodies that pertain to beach getaways. Um, there's one called uh, Teddy Bear's Picnic, a sports fan, a camper's backpack for uh, the camp lovers. Um, there's just tons in here um, for the vintage wine and cheese connoisseur. Um, a one called a bye-bye basket, which is when, you know, someone is moving or someone's retiring or something like that. Um, apple for the teacher. There's a basket for that. So if you guys are interested in hearing about any of these different baskets, um, comment down below and let me know. And I can show this like on a Tea Tuesday or a What's Up Wednesday um, to take my time and go through and maybe, and maybe even hold it up so you guys can do screenshots and give you guys ideas on, uh, if you have something coming up for someone and you don't quite know what to get them for their birthday. Um, sorry, I was reading the text. Um, <clears throat> now, I'm really excited about these. I, I couldn't believe it. I, um, I love Karen Kingsbury and I love her books. Um, and she's got a new brand new movie that's coming out on April 2nd and I'm so excited to see it. Um, I have to, maybe I'll try to find a link and put the link down below in my description so you can see. Actually, I have it on my community wall. I put it on my community wall, um, maybe a month ago, two months ago, maybe try to look back, but there's a link to the movie on there. Um, but she writes, you know, love stories and all that sort of stuff, rom-coms. Uh, but she also writes uh, from the Christian perspective, um, and, and I just love her her books. This is the number one best-selling author, Karen Kingsbury, This Side of Heaven. Story about a little girl where her son, um, I won't tell the whole story, but her son, um, a girl comes and says that this little girl is his daughter, and so, you know, he has to go through that whole process. Excited to read this. Um, this one is called In This Moment, another, num uh, it says number one uh, New York Times bestseller. Um, Karen Kingsbury, In This Moment. And please do let me know if any of y'all have heard of uh, Karen Kingsbury, um, if you've read any of her books. If you watched any of her movies, just comment down below and let me know and let me know which ones and let me know what you guys thought about her. And then this one, the next one is called The Chance. And actually this is Karen back there. And uh, let's see. I have not started reading this one yet. Yeah. I took this one, was it this one? This Side of Heaven? I think it was this one. I took to West Virginia, but I never got a chance to read it. Never got a chance. Too quick of a trip. Um, even with being in the car, being in the car, I like to pretty much just like either like watch you guys on YouTube, all my YouTube friends, catch up on my comments, uh, read a magazine, don't usually sleep. Not when my husband's driving, I don't usually sleep. Well, really, when any, anybody's driving, I don't usually sleep. Um, unless I'm totally exhausted. Now, let me get to the next one. So anyways, what I was meaning was, I didn't get I didn't get to even start the book, which was unfortunate, but it's okay, because we'll have, you know, pool days and beach days, and, and you know, school will be finished, and so I will um, have plenty of time to read. Um, this one is called Come to the Manger. And I got this. I looked at it and I, at first I was not going to get it. Let me see if I can get it to focus there. There we go. I was not going to get this at first. Um, but then I started looking through it and it had different little poems in here. Well, the pages, the pages got me, of course. Um, you know, all of us 
people that are um, suckers for art and aesthetics and things like that. The pages got me. Um, however, when I started reading through and there were some different poems and things like that, um, and I do love poetry, I thought, you know what, I'm, I'm going to get this because for Christmas, I can make copies of these and send these out to my friends and with the cards. And I just thought, um, I said, yeah, Kim, get that. <laughs> so I went ahead and got it. Um, look at this, how, look how beautiful it, it may, almost makes me miss Christmas, but does not make me miss winter. <laughs> um, so anyways, yeah, that's, that's the book, the, the last book. And then, of course, like I said, I got my, my husband and son one to share. Um, but he's got it, and I totally forgot to grab it. Um, but anyways, that was my new to me. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please go check out everyone else that has a new to me. If you did a new to me video today, um, comment down below so I know to go over and check you out. Or if you did one last week and I missed it, please comment down below and let me know. Um, because like I said, I get a ton of notifications and unfortunately there are some that slide through. So just comment down below and let me know. I'll come over and check it out and I appreciate y'all. And thank y'all for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your Thursday. We're almost to the weekend, guys. Hang in there. And until next time, bye y'all.